Alright. Hello. Alright, let me get my notes here. It's not very long. This should be a pretty short video. Alright, three things that I want the media to stop talking about because, um, I'm sick of hearing about it. Okay, now this is really a probably only, only people who can probably relate to this are probably going to be people who watch the news because really this is just mostly in the news. I, I'm assuming because I don't know who else is talking about this stuff. But, okay. One, I'm sick of hearing about the royal baby. Okay, I feel like when you talk about the royal baby all the time, when these people are in Europe, they're not even American royalty, they're European royalty, and the kid's not even going to really do anything. He's not like he has any power, so he hasn't really, he has absolutely zero effect in our lives at all. And he's probably going to be grow up to be like a spoiled brat on top of it. I'm not saying he will, but he will. And like, who cares? Okay? When you talk about the royal baby, you make me feel like you're catering to people who have no life. And that's when I turn the channel because I have a life. And I don't feel like being talked down to, like, you expect me to be some, like, you know, gossip hound in, like, some small town. I mean, maybe, I don't know if this is a small town, but I don't care. I have a life, so stop acting like, stop talking to me about stuff that is stupid as if I'm supposed to care just because I have nothing else more important going on in my life. That is so annoying. Oh my gosh. And, um, yeah, and I care more about Jimmy Fallon's baby than I do about the royal baby, okay? First of all, I like Jimmy Fallon more than the royal people or whatever in Europe. Okay, I think he's a cooler person. Second of all, he's more talented. They, what, what do they do? What do they do except for sit there and look at us and wave? I'm not, okay, maybe that's a little bit of an oversimplification because nobody is that bland. But I'm just saying, like, who cares about them? Like, Jimmy Fallon is so much cooler and he has a new baby girl. And, like, I'm sure she's going to be adorable and she's probably going to grow up to be a decent human being on top of it because he probably, he seems like he'd be a good dad. Whereas, like, I don't trust those people over there, the royal people. I don't think, plus I think they killed Diana, not not the couple, not the royal couple, not Kate and, or William or whatever their name is I'm talking about. I do think that Princess Diana was assassinated. But I'm just saying, that's beside the point. I'm just saying, like, you know, plus her husband cheated on her, so you know they're coming from, like, a, you know, low moral character, low moral intelligent situation. No offense to Europeans, okay? I love Harry Potter, okay? I absolutely expecto patronum mm, and all that, and I like absolutely fabulous and stuff like that, you know? I love all of that, and I love talking like you guys. It's wonderful. I'm not insulting you. But I don't think it's important to talk about the royal baby. I'm sorry. I like Jimmy Fallon's baby more already, okay? Sorry, okay? And let me see. What else? Um, oh, stop talking about freaking Anthony Weiner. Oh my god, he's a disgusting pig. He's a loser. He's an idiot. He's compulsive. He's he's giggity giggity. <laughs> okay, he's like Quagmire, only not funny. Okay, he's like a bad joke. He's not just a joke, he's a bad joke. And he is an embarrassment to his entire gender on top of the whole state of he, wherever he's city where he's trying to be mayor. Just let him go. Leave him alone. There's so many more important people who deserve the attention that you're giving Anthony Weiner, okay? Like, seriously, there are people who don't take nasty pictures of themselves and send them to other people and then get mad at those people for not liking their pictures. There are people who don't go around acting like a slut bag and then calling women slut bags and, 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 and effing cunts and stuff like that just because they're just, you know, evil morons or whatever. Meanwhile, he's doing all the slutty sh stuff, okay, but then he's gonna, like, then be hypocritical and call somebody else disgusting when he's, he's the one who's disgusting. And then he's gonna use, like, m like thousands of our tax dollars to cover up his disgustingness and lie about it. What kind of person is this? This is not a leader. Oh my gosh. I understand that liberal cities are more forgiving of moral stupidity in their leaders than other cities, but nobody with any self-respect would elect a person like Anthony Weiner for anything ever. Okay? Don't even elect him to shine your shoes. Don't even elect him to, to, to be your next door neighbor. Elect him to go the other way. Elect him to go away. That's what you should elect Anthony Weiner to do. Elect Anthony Weiner to go to another city. That's what you should elect him to do. Okay? And stop talking about him because I'm tired of hearing about him. Oh my god, he's disgusting. He's not even attractive. I mean, not that that would make it better. Actually, it would make it a little bit better. It would make it... I'm not saying it would make it better from a moral standpoint. I'm just saying, like... I would be less sick of seeing his face, but I would still be just as sick of hearing about his story, okay? Because his story is pathetic, and his face doesn't help, okay? So just, just, ugh, stop talking about Anthony Weiner, oh my gosh! Talk about heroes, people who are, like, doing good things, or, you know, leaders who we're not disappointed in, okay? I know that they're hard to find, but they exist, so find them. 
And also, I'm also tired of this whole thing and talking about this little 17 year old boy. I'm, I'm sorry I don't have his name. I'll put him in the description. But this, this, this 17 year old boy who they keep calling this innocent baby faced boy who can't wait. Innocent baby faced boy who they keep giving all the sympathy and affection to and the way they talk about him who killed. He murdered his his 15 year old cousin. And he, I, I don't care if he had help from an adult. Okay, yeah, he might have been manipulated, but he, he was, <laughs> he's still a killer. He's a murderer. Meanwhile, when Trayvon Martin was, who was hunted down and murdered just for walking down the street in a hoodie, you guys called him a man who deserved it because he defended himself and fought back when he was being followed. What? You know, that's the problem with, with, with. I'm not even going to say the R word because I don't feel like having that discussion on this video. We can have that discussion on another video when I'm, when I'm, when I'm putting all the information and facts in that video. I'm going to talk about narcissism for just two seconds, okay? When you can automatically sympathize with somebody just because they look more like you and automatically you demonize somebody else just because they don't look like you, that's called narcissism. And you have no business being in the media, okay? When people who have no power are that stupid, that's one thing. When people who do have power are that stupid, you guys are too stupid and irresponsible to be in power and you need to be fired, okay? I don't care if most of you are this way, okay? I know Hollywood is completely this way. That's why we don't see any, like, you know, superheroes that aren't white, okay? Or, you know, male okay <laughs> and I mean what else I don't know we, we don't see any anybody we don't see diversity in Hollywood because everybody in Hollywood is so narcissistic and afraid of losing money because they're afraid of not catering to a narcissistic society so they're afraid of losing money on top of it so it also goes back to the green which still goes back to narcissism so it really goes back to narcissism okay and so I don't want to hear any more crap about how oh he looks so innocent the 17 year old who killed this person right after on the heels of Trayvon Martin who you guys demonized on the media not all of you demonized him but a lot of you would talk about him even when you were defending him some of you would even defend Trayvon Martin and still call him a man yeah, you know, you know what I'm saying? It's like that. It's kind of like that 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 covert narcissism where you don't even realize you're being narcissistic. You don't even realize that you are placing him in the other category instead of realizing that he is a kid. The kid, Trayvon Martin was had just turned 17. He was 16 years old and 3 weeks. 16 and 3 weeks, okay? That is a kid, okay? And so Zimmerman is a kid killer. Okay, whether you think he did it you know, intentionally, unintentionally, I don't care. He's a kid killer, regardless. And he started it, regardless. So for you guys to sympathize with this kid, this, this, this blonde 17-year-old who murdered somebody, has <laughs> murdered his own cousin. It was his own family on top of it. It wasn't a stranger. It was blood. Well, I don't know if it was blood, but it was his cousin, so I'm assuming it was blood. Okay? There's just no excuse for this kind of double standard in this day and age. Okay? We got Barack Obama as president. We've got, you know, Will Smith kicking butt in the box office. I know he's the only one, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, the only one in his demographic, should I say, because Oprah's still busy, too busy doing sad, depressing crap that I'm so sick of seeing. Sorry. Okay, look, Oprah, I love you, girl. But seriously, you have all this money. Why don't you just make a black superhero movie? Heck, why don't you make a superhero movie that stars everybody, blacks, Hispanics, Asians, Indians, including whites, everybody. Since Hollywood won't do it, you have the money. And Will Smith, you could do this too, okay? Oh my gosh, Tyler Perry, look. I love Medea and everything, but stop. Not stop Medea, but, you know, I don't want... I, I love you, Tyler Perry, but I don't watch your TV shows, except for the soap opera, the haves and the have-nots, because that's interesting. I mean, you kind of don't know how to end a scene. They just kind of go on forever. But I'm just saying, other than your editing issues, like, you know... I, I don't, I like your have and have nots, you know, idea, but your TV shows are so cliched. I hate to say this because I'm not trying to knock you because you are important and relevant. It's just that you should put your money towards shows that are less annoying and less, less cliched and less fake. Okay. Black people don't act like that. Okay. I don't really know anybody who acts like that. We're mostly middle class. And, you know, that's no excuse for, for, you know, you know, the people who aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, because obviously, you know, the silent middle class needs to be a little bit more aggressive in fighting back against negative stereotypes. So, yeah, I'm not letting the, the silent majority off the hook here. I'm just saying you have power. So just can you be a little more responsible with it? And just I'm not 
I'm not trying to insult you, and I'm not trying to talk down to you, and I totally respect you. I'm just saying, please stop with all this, oh my god, girl, no she didn't, oh my god, boy, no he didn't, all this loud, annoying crap. They're clowns, and I can't stand it, because none of us talk like that, okay? No, nobody's like that, okay? Nobody, okay? I mean, it's like BET... They either show gangsters or they show, like, you know, clowns. And black people, for the most part, are neither. And Hispanics are usually neither. They're not freaking devious maids, okay? Which is another race, another narcissistic show, okay? Since you guys are afraid of the R word, since we can't talk about that. Because then it's like, oh my god, oh my god, we can't talk about that. Because then that makes me feel bad, so we can't talk about that. Okay, well, I don't want to make you feel bad in this video. I'll make you feel bad in another video if I have to. But this video, all I'm simply saying is stop with all the crap. Stop talking about the, the royal baby when there are other babies that are more important. Stop talking about Anthony Weiner when he is disgusting, just dumb F of a bad joke loser that nobody, nobody cares about. And please stop talking about this 17-year-old boy who you guys were just like, oh, yeah, he looks so innocent. He, and all he did was murder his 15-year-old cousin. I don't give a crap how innocent he looks. What he did was atrocious. And you had no sympathy for Trayvon. I mean, from the standpoint that you called him a man and you were acting like he, he was his fault for getting killed when he was just walking down the street. Okay, just I'm going to end this now because I could really go on forever here. But I'm just saying, I'm done with the media. I'm going to just continue watching, like, anything that doesn't relate to the news because y'all just piss me off. The, this year is not a good year for you. I liked you last year during the election, but this year, I'm really pissed off at you guys. So, um, I'm going to leave it there because I, I don't want to take, make, take this video too long because I know y'all don't have a... No, no, none of us have a high attention span. But anyway, subscribe if you want, but uh, to all the other people watching and uh, comment. Thanks. Bye.